I'm Bob Daler, and I'm a senior vice president at uh, Tetra Tech. I have uh, two degrees in civil engineering and a master's in civil engineering with a emphasis on environmental engineering. And I was awarded a postgraduate fellowship at Harvard University in advanced environmental studies. The idea of leading with science is really an important idea. And, and I think it's important for us to, to understand how to work in a way that's compatible with natural systems. And, and the idea of sustainability is exactly that, you know, working with nature. Boston, because it's nature of how it was developed, is very vulnerable to sea level rise. Over 30% of the land area of Boston was former tidelands. It's all been filled. It was filled beginning in, in the late 1600s, and it was filled to be three or four feet above the then sea levels. We know the sea levels are rising, and we know that uh, the city is not rising. And so it, we, we are on a path to having a certain conflict at some time in the future. And I thought we should explore the natural protections that the Boston Harbor has, which is a series of Boston Harbor islands that, that essentially close us off, partially close us off from the Atlantic Ocean. We uh, developed a paper called the Sapphire Necklace, which is a play on uh, the famous uh, Olmsted's uh, protection barrier for the city, which is the Emerald Necklace, which is a green belt around the city on the land. And we chose the idea of the sapphire necklace of being this extension of the green belt through the ocean. And again, the blue for the sapphire necklace. And the idea of pinching off the tide by extending or building the barrier islands or rebuilding the barrier islands in a way that restricted the tidal flow into the inner harbor. It went from being an idea that people thought, uh, essentially the first reaction was, oh, engineers with another big engineering idea. It has now been adopted as, an as one of the alternatives in the Climate Ready Boston uh, uh, planning study. And it is currently being funded by the Bar Foundation and, and, and its environmental consequences are being studied by the University of Massachusetts in Boston. 